Bob, I'm so excited to have you on my show. And I've heard so many tremendous things about this incredible passion project of yours that's really, really close to your heart and you've been working on for a number of years now, mm -hmm. Seven Virtues. Tell me a little bit about why you decided to do this mm -hmm. and kind of what's happened from the moment of wanting to do it to where we're sitting here today. Yeah, well, like a lot of people, something tragic happened in my life. I think it's what ignites you to do good things in the world. Uh, my best friend was wounded at serving in the Canadian Forces. Mm -hmm. So in the hospital, I promised him I'd take on his mission of peace, and then I realized I didn't have a way. I'm not a brave soldier, I'm not a world leader, so I created a new way. I wrote The Seven Virtues of a Philosopher Queen. It's a book that empowers women to launch companies, end bullying, run for office, just harness our voting and buying power to reverse issues of war and poverty. And then I read about this man, Abdullah, in Afghanistan, and he was growing the legal orange blossom and rose to get the farmers off the illegal poppy crop. And the same people that attacked my best friend were knocking over his distillery. And I thought, that's it, I'm coming. Yeah. I flew to Ottawa, I met with Sita, I bought what little oil he had on my visa card, I launched on International Women's Day. Some people made fun of me. And then two weeks later, we were on the front page of the Globe and Mail, we were on Dragon's Den eight weeks later, and now we're all across Canada on the Hudson's Bay stores and the U.S. and Europe. And and now this little baby company actually has a celebrity fragrance. Right. I mean, it's just so exciting with Lisa Ray. So I just feel very blessed that I have been able to uh, find the good in the world and uh, that we have so many supporters that love what we do. Absolutely. I think, you know, um, energy, you know, finds like-minded energy, right? Mm -hmm. We find each other somehow. We don't know when the flow of our journey is gonna mm -hmm. kind of, you know, help us come across the right kinds of people mm -hmm. to help us along the way. And all of a sudden, you know, you've, you've, you've come to where you have. Seven Virtues is, is um, clearly a passion, a passion project for mm -hmm. you. Um, what do you hope to do with it? now that you're at a point where you've got a celebrity um, on board. The give back is a massive part of what um, you're doing. The hashtag, make perfume not war. It's like there's, a, there's, there's so much more here that I know that you mm -hmm. must be percolating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are we headed with this mission, with this kind of revolution of yours? Really to ignite a cavalry of business to come and do trade with Nations Rebuilding and to spark others to create social enterprise. Mm -hmm. You know, buy their saffron, buy their pomegranate, buy anything from a country that can empower and liberate a family and make something beautiful. Uh, you know, we're going to buy jewelry. This is from Rwanda. This supports women after the genocide. Uh, we buy fragrance. We buy all kinds of things. Why not create beautiful things that are good for your skin and good for the world and I just hope that we someone will say I was watching your story and I saw your Lisa Ray Jasmine of India and now I'm going to go create this and I, I just think then we'll build a better world so yeah the, the movement why Lisa Ray you know this was destiny Lisa and I met five years ago and dreamed of creating this fragrance I was new I didn't have all the network that I have now and this was the right time. Uh, you know, she survived cancer. She believes in the same things I do in, in empowering people. And our products have no phthalates. So people with allergies tell us they can wear them. So philosophically, it aligns with making sure that if we're going to help farmers and nations rebuilding, that we're not going to put something harmful on your skin. So she was the perfect. She's the only, Lisa Ray is the only celebrity I ever would have done this with. <laughs> you are perfect. I love your mission. You have a fan in me and I can't Thank wait for you. you to go around the world. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Lisa, we are back again. It's really funny because the last time you and I chatted, I don't know if you remember, mm -hmm. it was when you were also lending your fabulousness to another great cause. Mm -hmm. So here we are again, um, Seven Virtues. Um, obviously, um, you know, this is something that's very close to your heart. Mm -hmm. You're launching this great perfume, and on what day? On, on UN Peace Day. Peace Day. International, International Day Peace Day. Of Peace. So I know that all of this is very important to you. Mm -hmm. Tell me why you got involved with this particular project. Well, exactly as you pointed out, and as you know about <laughs> me Absolutely. from all these years, um, I try to align myself with um, projects that are aligned with who I am and especially my value system and that's obviously become even more important now as a cancer survivor because you know you deal with your own mortality like mm. I don't have time to waste otherwise you Absolutely. know and you understand what is important focus on that let everything else just sort of dissolve away so um, seven virtues uh, Jasmine of India uh, by Lisa Ray is yes. Actually, the culmination of a promise that Barb, who's the founder of Seven Virtues, and I made to each other five years ago, 
when she was just starting her company. It's an incredible Canadian company where it's all about, basically, I'll give you the tagline, make perfume, not more. Absolutely. You know, that sort of says it That's all. That's your hashtag. And she's, she's pretty much gone around the world. She's, she's sourced out vetiver from Haiti, uh, rose from Afghanistan, empowered communities and farmers, um, and changed lives. You know. And what I love um, about what Barb says and what we're sort of, uh, again, very much aligned in, in our philosophy is uh, to become retail activists, right? Mm -hmm. Like here in North America in particular, we buy things, right? I mean, we, you're going to buy perfume, you're going to buy lipstick, you're going to buy, you know, blah, 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 blah. But why not put your buying power behind a cause and know that you're actually affecting change and at the same time also get a great product? Absolutely. But of course, Jasmine and it being associated with India is so important to me. Everything that I do stems from, uh, from my deep roots, you know, and my um, relationship with India, which is really, really strong and has made me who I am. So the opportunity to talk about India and the world and to at any given moment give a platform to India um, and in a sense change the conversation around India and change perceptions is, you know, I'm right behind that. Absolutely. Jasmine is beautiful. It's Absolutely. sexy. It's sensual. It's, it's genuinely a scent that I've grown up with because jasmine flowers are ubiquitous in India. That means they're everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, whether it's temples or strong in women's hair, or they're, you know, in Bombay actually at rush hour, uh, at a certain time in the late afternoon, uh, there's women. You know, normally, we're literally at a standstill, you know, and everyone's kind of like getting irritated and gritting their teeth. And then at a particular point, women will actually, you know, weave their way through the traffic, carrying gajras and selling them to everyone. And just that one, that smell of Ratki Rani, mm -hmm. you know, you know, the, the queen of the night, Absolutely. is enough to just evoke the sacred in the middle of all of this chaos. And, you know, although India is very chaotic, I would argue that lives in North America are extremely chaotic as mm -hmm. well, in the sense that we're pulled in so many different directions. So I think that we always need just a little hit of the divine in the everyday and to remind us that we're actually divine beings first. Absolutely. And the interesting thing is, is that um, even though this is for a great cause, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. proceeds, of course, um, from the sales go to the farmers, the jasmine farmers in India, yeah. right? Yeah. Which is also, I know, really important to you. Like the give back has always been so important to you for the 15 years I've known you, right? And the various projects you've done. Mm -hmm. The one that, I, the thing I like about this particular um, scenario is that um, it allows you to be kind of a 360 degree version of yourself, right? right. Where, I mean, beauty is such that there's a give back component, a wellness mm -hmm. component, mm -hmm. right? But then you also want to smell and look fabulous, right? Of course. And, oh, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. Right? And there's yes. always there's always this kind of, you know, ideology that, you know, you if you're one, you can't be the other. And I know you are all about it all, right? As are you. Yes, absolutely. By the way, you know, this is something we've been talking about over years, absolutely. right? Absolutely. So it's interesting to see that the timing is right now for like all the seeds that you plant along the way, mm -hmm. some of them will germinate, you know? Absolutely. And this is actually a project that I see, as I said, has been like a long held desire. You know, it's taken this form right now and it keeps taking many different forms. But as you said, you know, uh, collaborating with the seven virtues on this means that you know we're able to in in a sense you know uh, l let me back up a little bit this is my 25th year mm -hmm. since facing the camera and in the so-called entertainment wow. and beauty industry and in that time obviously i'm very grateful for all that the, the industry has given me but i have my own issues you know as everyone does yes you know with uh, perceptions of women and body imaging and so many and this idea of per perfectionism that is thrust on us as women so any way that we can through the beauty industry and through the products that we selectively create or decide to buy, subvert the entire you know uh, program, you know, and and empower, you know, others, empower ourselves, and invest in something that is doing good in the world. You know, make perfume not war. Absolutely, and I love that um, hashtag. It's it's magnificent. W um, where can people purchase this? Another great thing is that yes. it's getting great. Um, widespread distribution, mm -hmm. uh, national distribution in Canada and in the U.S. Oh, that's incredible. So it's going to be available at Hudson's Bay yes. across the nation. Please, like, go storm. <laughs> Everyone storm the bay because, again, like I said, it's really actually putting your money to a great cause, you know. And, um, and also, uh, it's also available at Lord & Taylor in the U.S. and um, also online. 
on the sevenvirtues.com. And we're going to be rolling out in a couple more places, but it's a little premature to announce that right now. I'm, I'm totally excited. I mean, the, the, the response has been fantastic. Mm, I'm really that was my next back. question. Yeah. I'm so taken aback and I'm deeply touched, you know, because I honestly don't see this. This isn't an endorsement for me. It's not like a celebrity fragrance. I actually, like, I have to admit, I cringe a little bit, yes. you know. I know I mean, that sometimes about you. you have to, yeah, sometimes you have to label certain things, you know, even for the media and for people to understand. It's really not that. It's just this beautiful collaboration between the two of us, between me and Barb, who just basically, very simply, want to change the world. Right. And this is an expression of that. Um, but it's also bringing Jasmine to the world, and it's bringing Jasmine to the mainstream market. Absolutely. Jasmine of India being available mainstream across Canada and the U.S., I think is a great triumph. Absolutely, I completely agree and with that. And it's also a homegrown Canadian company, which is really cool. Which is absolutely fabulous. So tell me why you feel women should um, purchase this um, outside of the cause factor. Mm -hmm. What's in the product? Because I know you. Like there'll be things in the yeah. product that you know are important to you and need to align with kind of what you believe in, right? As a cancer survivor, I'm very yes. aware that what you put on your skin is as important as what you put in your body. So we're phthalate free, we are paraben free, we are cruelty free, and we're vegan. Actually. Wow. So, it's so can I can I drink it? You can drink it, baby. <laughs> Get back to me on that. Uh, there's a lot of alcohol in it. How, how's that? Okay. Well, that sounds like a plan, doesn't it? <laughs> That's the only binder in it, you know. <laughs> Don't try this at home, though. <laughs> but um, so yes, it's absolutely you know because uh, you know I am very much you know a wellness advocate. So, yes, you, you know, are. About what you put on your skin, in your environment, and everything like that is vital. We have to fight for this. We have to fight for great quality products that don't harm us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, unfortunately, in the fragrance industry, we don't know what are a lot of the um, ingredients. They aren't often listed. Yes. And this is something that you can actually find on our website, The Seven Virtues. We've had to list all of our ingredients because it's been selling in Europe, and Europe has sort of a, a very uh, rigorous uh, certification program. Yes. So basically, you know it's all good for you, even in uh, so-called fragrance-free workplaces it can actually be used so a lot of government offices and also for women who believe that they are allergic to fragrances because that's now so what that's we should be banning thing. is not fragrances but the chemicals that are put into fragrance Absolutely. the phthalates are so they're horrible mm. look them up and understand and often what's you know it's really interesting is that phthalates are the things that that make the scent bind to you so it makes it last longer mm -hmm. so basically if you're wearing the scent and you go off and take a shower and it's still with you that is not a good sign that is right. not a sign of quality that's a sign of the level of toxicity absolutely so you know I mean with uh, Lisa Ray Jasmine of India you will have to refresh your scent every now and then you know it's not going to be absolute long-lasting but it's so worth it it's like carrying this cloud around with you and you, you know you, you know Absolutely, you can be confident that it's good for you. Absolutely, and I can't wait to um, smell some of it, share what some of it. What are you talking like, about? Can we do this can, right now? Can we so do this? I've so, been waiting for this. Okay. I know I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm so passionate about this scent. Where do you wear your scent actually normally? Um, all, all, all the parts of the body that you can and cannot see. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on who's coming to visit. <laughs> Oh my God, I love it. It's, it's do you really? Oh my, I really do. Oh, there's so kind happy. of an See, incense, there's an incense-ness to it, which well, is we, the, yeah. So the thing is that we mixed it with myrrh, frankincense, ginger, mm. cardamom, mm -hmm. and uh, orange blossom. I can, I can smell it's the spicy. cardamom and the orange. Guys, you gotta go out and get this. This is tremendous, and I hope I'm gonna get um, a bottle or a dozen. That's all I have to say. Darling, I love you, you know that. Thank you so mm. much. Mwah for this opportunity to talk again about your next phase in the give back of what is Lisa Ray. I love meeting you all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Hey everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. I'm so happy that you're here and I look forward to you guys subscribing to my channel so we can have loads more fun here at Open Chess with me, Raj Gurn.